Well, people love them, and some people are wary of them. And we're going to delve into the mysterious world of oysters today because it is National Oyster Day. We want to welcome Chef Chris Mayer from Ocean Prime in Troy. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I mean, when I tell you he was getting this together, when I say fresh, this stuff just came out of the ice. Isn't that right? That's right. All right, so not all oysters are alike. How are many different, how many different kinds are there? I couldn't even give you an actual amount or yeah. an actual number. Um, it's, you know, well into the hundreds, possibly thousands. Oh, wow. um, you can get them pretty much all over the world, cold right. water, warm water. Uh, here at the restaurant, we serve two different uh, cold water oysters at all times. We always carry an East Coast and a West Coast. Love it. Sometimes from California or Washington, sometimes from Canada, all the way to Massachusetts and Maine. Okay, cool. So what are we making today? What are we putting together? So today I actually brought two different kinds of oysters just so we could talk a little bit about both of them. So you'll notice on the shells, one is smooth and one has ridges. Mm -hmm. the, Let's tilt that toward the camera so they can the see The ridged that. one is going to be your west coast. So that Traditionally, they're going to have a black line around the outside oh. as well. And then your smooth that are going to be um, your east coast. Okay. West coast are going to be normally a little bit brinier or a little bit saltier. Okay. And... Um, your East Coast are normally going to be traditionally your uh, beginner oyster, per se. Alrighty. And then I'll throw on one of these gloves right here. Right, we'll do a little me how oyster to shuck shucking. Oyster. Yep. Go ahead and throw that one on, All right. too. Alright, I'm excited. I don't know why I put these gloves on before, but hey. Oh, you want to <laughs> wear the other gloves, too. <laughs> okay. So we're going right. to shuck one of the East Coast oysters. You're trying Take to find me an here. easy one. I appreciate I, it. I am. Okay. So all your oysters are going to have a little notch here in the back. That right there? Oh. Right here. Yep, right here. Okay. Then you're going to take your knife here mm -hmm. and kind of wedge it in there. Okay, so like. Wedge it in right there, and then you're going to wrap that with the towel. Okay, you guys see what I did? Get a close up of that, Kevy. I'm feeling really professional right now. Okay. <laughs> then you're just going to kind of press into that until you get the the blade actually into the oh, I cracked oyster the shell. itself. Does that make sense? If yep. I crack the shell. And then it should just kind of pop open. Or not. Or not. It's not, not an easy thing to do. It's not. It looks so easy. All right, I'm going to keep trying this. All right, so you're putting that on ice. So we're going to put these on ice, and then we're going to top these with a grape mignonette, which is a, um, a tart and tangy sauce for the top mm. of the oysters. We use a verjus, which is uh, grapes before they're ripe that would be normally used for white wine. And Chef then, Chris, check me out. Check me out. Oh, nice. Did I kill so it? So then, oh. nope. What you're going to do after the fact is take your blade mm -hmm. and just scoop underneath the oyster okay. and you're going to release it from the bottom of the shell there. All right. I'm definitely not going to get hired here, but that's okay. So we've got 30 seconds. Let's stop here and let's All do right. the garnish and show me how. Yep. Uh, so a little garnish. Works. So we're going to go with a little bit of this grape mignonette. It's uh, diced red grapes. Red grapes. Right over the top there. All right. While you're doing those. And now. then a little bit of Tabasco Granita. Tabasco Granito. Okay, so I'm going to let you put that in. While you're doing that, tell us about, that's the finished product right there, right? Yes. Okay, that looks absolutely And this beautiful. is for our summer oyster and wine promotion. Uh, every Friday right now from 2 to 7, these are half off. Also, we're doing a Schwamsberg uh, wine, a rosé, mm. as well as a Blanc de Blanc, which is 100% Chardonnay from California. Ooh. And then... Um, they are run all week as well. That's awesome. These are the best to go with uh, with oysters. Very much And so. all of this other beautiful food that we have here. Remind us where you're located again really quick. We are located in Troy at Coolidge and Big Beaver, 2915 Coolidge Highway. Very cool. You know, I feel so cool that I shucked one oyster. That was, that was good. <laughs> Thank you.